I've been using my Celestron Travelscope 70 for a hot minute now, like three to four years. And overall, I've had great experiences with it. And if you're an original subscriber of my channel, then you'll see that I pretty much started it with my Travelscope 70. And I think that it's a great telescope for its price, but for telescopes in general, I don't think it's that good. There are multiple reasons for me saying this, but I'll start with the pros. First, it's very well priced for a telescope. Where I'm from in Canada, it's like a hundred dollars. So it's very well priced and it's also really portable. It weighs like under five pounds and even comes with its own carrying backpack, which a lot of telescopes don't come with. Unless you're someone who wants a cheap telescope only to look at stuff and don't have very high standards, then I think this telescope might be perfect for you. But otherwise, I'd say the pros outweigh the cons. For one, the tripod that the Travelscope comes with is really unstable and not very accurate, which makes finding objects quite difficult. Actually, I wouldn't say difficult, but it makes it tenuous, which shouldn't be a thing when you have a 70 millimeter telescope, which is something that you don't need a finder scope for. And that's another thing I'm going to get into, the finder scope. The finder scope is virtually useless. I haven't used it in a really long time. The original finder scope, that is, I think I might have lost it. It's, it has some magnification, but with a 70 millimeter telescope, it's so small that you don't even need a finder scope unless you're using the travel scope with a computerized mount, of course. But back to the tripod, it's really wobbly and loose, even when you've tightened all those thumb screws all the way. So if you want a more stable view of anything you look at, then I suggest going out of your way to buy a better tripod for your travel scope if you get one. Another issue that I have with the travel scope are the other accessories like the eyepieces and star diagonal. Of course, the eyepieces, there's a 20 millimeter one and a 10 millimeter one. They're not very high quality, but what do you expect? The star diagonal, however, is made of plastic. And that's a problem because plastic wears out a lot faster than steel does. And what happened was eventually I had to go out and get a higher quality steel star diagonal after like one year or a few months of using it. I don't quite remember, but the star diagonal is not good. So you should also get another one of those if again, you're getting the travel scope. The backpack that it comes with isn't the highest of quality either. It wears out and tears quite easily and quickly. So even though it comes with one, eventually I think you should also get a separate and better backpack to carry the travel scope. Another problem I have with the travel scope is how the focusing works. Because if you turn the focusing knobs too far in, like all the way in, then what happens is, is the whole end, that end of the telescope gets stuck. And what you have to do is like pull it out, which isn't pleasant. As well as the tripod, the mount that is on top of the tripod is also not very good either because it's virtually impossible to get like exact centering on any object you want to look at just because the mount, like the bar or, or the handle, it's very hard to control. Like once you think that you centered it, you let go and then for some reason it goes off center and then you have to fiddle with that for a bit. It's not very fun and that could be a problem for you unless you don't care about centering, but I do. The biggest downside that I can see with the Celestron Travelscope 70 is that even though it starts off cheap, you'll have to buy more accessories if you want to have a better experience with it, which will in turn make it more expensive than how it starts off, which I'm sure if you're looking for a cheap telescope, that's not what you want. Personally, I'd recommend not buying one of those cheap portable telescopes because the quality is not that good and you're better off spending a few more hundred dollars on a much higher quality telescope rather than a lower quality one that you might end up spending just as much money on anyways. Of course, this is my opinion, and you're free to express yours in the comments section below. And if you like this, then you could check out some of my other content, which will be linked in the description. Anyways, 
that's all I have to say for this video, so I'll see you in the next one.